Hi. Hi, I'm Miss Sophie. And I'm Mr. Zach, and welcome to class. For today's topic is New Year for General English B1+. Mogesalmabit. Etili ost kwani dabrunaba chwens teleskolashi. Me sopovar eski zakia. Dreondeli chweni kagwatilis tema ikneba akhali zeli. Tkwan uqorabt zogat inglisurs done BRT+. So for today's agenda, we of course start with the vocabulary, then move right along to the reading comprehension, and then right th next we have the grammar, and lastly we have the summary. Video shot kakwatilze kadavidodot, modit ertat unakhot dgewandeli dgis kanrigi. Dgewandeli chweni kakwatili daitsqeba leksikis shesavlit. Ami shemdeg gadavot tsaqitkhulis gaazrebaze, shemdeg gwekneba grammatikuli savarchishoebi, amas moqqoba kakwatilis shejameba. So, Sopo, um, what are some New Year uh, traditions that you do in Georgia? Well, we have a lot of, actually. Um, so, we meet New Year at 12 o'clock, and then everyone uh, is at the table, and we set a table with the special dishes, like we have gozinari and churchela and uh, some satsivi um, on, uh, at the table. What about you? Is oh. it different? Oh, for America, we celebrate at midnight too. Yep. And then we just set off fireworks and yeah. we have a, usually a big party. Yeah, we do that too. <laughs> so pretty much the same yeah. thing. Yes. <laughs> so first, we have the vocabulary section. We have new vocabulary words. So our first word is resolution. Resolution is a noun and in Georgian it means kanzrahwa an katatskwatileba. And resolution is when you uh, think of a new kind of thing you want to get better at. Maybe you stop eating so much or maybe you stop drinking or something like that. It's sort of a wish list that you want to um, uh, achieve for that uh, year. Uh, exactly right. Year. Resolution. 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 So next we have fireworks, which is a noun. Fireworks in Georgian mean poyerwerki. And a firework is something that uh, you shoot off into the sky and it explodes with color. Fireworks. 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 And next we have noisemaker and it is a noun. Noisemaker in Georgian means sastoeni. And a noisemaker is something that you pull and it explodes and makes a big sound. Noisemaker, noisemaker, noisemaker. Noise and next we have firecracker, and it is a noun. Firecracker in Georgian means asapetkebeli. And a firecracker is like a little firework that you light and you throw and it makes a big noise. Firecracker, firecracker, firecracker. And next we have toast and it is a noun. Toast is a very famous word in Georgian and it means sadregrzelo. And a toast is when you are with other people or another person and you say what you are grateful for or you toast to someone else. Uh, toast, 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 toast. And next is countdown and it is a noun. Countdown in Georgian means tsamebis ukumimartulebit atla. And a countdown is when you wait for the new year, the last 10 seconds of the last previous year. Countdown, countdown, countdown. countdown. And next we have Eve, and it is a noun. Eve in Georgian means dresasaulis tsina dre an saramo. And an Eve is the last day of the year. Or we have, for example, a Christmas Eve or a New Year's Eve, right? Exactly, right. Eve, Eve, Eve. Eve. Now let's move on to our vocabulary activity, where we will match the right words with the right definitions. Let's start. Let's start. So, Sopo, uh, on the day before an important event, or during the period of time just before it. What is that? I think that's the word that we just explained. Eve, right? Like New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve, as we said before. I think you're right. Very good. And next, uh, an object that explodes when you light it and which produces colored lights, loud noises. Well, what is that? I think that's the one that everyone likes and, uh, and people usually shoot it at the midnight. That's fireworks. I think that's fireworks. <laughs> and the next one is a promise to yourself to do or to not to do something. 
oh, I know that's resolution, and I know a lot of people try to do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As we said, it's sort of a wish list that you probably want to or don't want to do um, that year. Resolution is the right answer. No, totally. And the next we have a kind of firework that makes a lot of na loud uh, noises when it explodes. Yeah, oh, that's a firecracker. And you throw them and they make the loudest noise ever. And very popular at the New Year's, right? I think so. <laughs> and next, Sopo, an occasion when people all drink together and say someone's name in order to express their admiration and, or their good wishes. What is that? That must be toast. Oh, that's definitely a toast. <laughs> And the next one we have, a device for making a loud noises at a festive festivity or a sports match. Oh, that's definitely a noise maker. <laughs> Very true. And lastly, uh, the counting of numbers backwards, for example, from 10 to 0 before something important happens. That's countdown. Definitely right. Good job. Now let's move on to our second set of vocabulary. These vocabulary items are picked up from the text that we are going to soon read, right, Zach? Ahlak i modit irtad kadaoidet lexik is meure natilze. Es situabi ushalt teksti danaris amokrepili da isini dagikhmarebat tekstis uket gazrebash. So our first word is lunar and it is an adjective. Lunar in Georgian means mtwaris an twaristan dagaushirebuli. And lunar means uh, the moon or something affected by it. <laughs> lunar twaris an twaris tanda kaushirebuli lunar twaris an twaris tanda kaushirebuli lunar twaris an twaris tanda kaushirebuli and next we have prosperous and it is an adjective prosperous in georgian means tsarmatebuli and prosperous means when you're very lucky and you have a lot going on for you a lot of good things for you prosperous tsarmatebuli prosperous tsarmatebuli prosperous and next we have obscure, and that is a noun. Obscure in Georgian means kaurkweveli. And obscure is when something isn't totally uh, makes sense or you just don't really know what it is. Obscure, obscure, obscure. And next we have to wrap, and it is a verb. To wrap means sheputwa. And to wrap means to like wrap a present, like wrap a piece of paper around it so you can't tell what it is. Yeah, a lot of people wrap presents at New Year's, right? Exactly, or Christmas for America. Mm -hmm. To wrap, to wrap, to, to wrap. wrap. And next we have to inherit, and that is a verb. To inherit in Georgian means mimkwidreobit mireba. And to inherit means when someone dies, uh, they leave you something like money or a gift or anything else. To inherit, to inherit, to, to inherit. inherit. And next we have characteristic, and it is a noun. Characteristic in Georgian means tamachasiatebeli nishani. And a characteristic is like um, something about you or something else like uh, a fact. A special feature maybe or, that, yeah. that characterize you, right? Definitely, right. Characteristic, characteristic, characteristic. And now we have the reading comprehension. Hey Zach, so how old are your New Year's traditions? Oh, maybe 10 years, but we're a little bit unusual and we like to have Chinese food for a New Year's uh, dinner. Wow, Chinese food. That's quite specific, yeah. isn't it? How about you? Oh, uh, well, um, I think that I my New Year's traditions come from my grand great grandparents even so we would um, we would have our relatives uh, at the table and I remember the same things happening from that period of time so did your grandparents celebrate in the same way that you celebrate New Year's now oh probably not so I don't think they had Chinese food for New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> probably a little bit different <laughs> a little bit different New Year's Day is celebrated at different times and in different ways throughout the world this is because certain countries and religions around the world use different calendars. Some calendars are based on the movement of the moon, while others are based on the position of the sun. New Year in China, for instance, is celebrated on a different day each year, because the Chinese base their calendar on the cycle of the moon. Therefore, the Chinese New Year can fall anywhere between January and the beginning of February. Religious festivals for New Year, which occur on days other than 1st January, include the Jewish Rosh Hashanah festival and the Muslim Al-Hijra festival. 
Generally, New Year's Day is celebrated in Western-influenced countries on the 1st of January. New Year's Day was formal, formerly observed 4,000 years ago in 2000 BC in ancient Babylon. Their New Year celebrations would begin on March 23rd in our calendar and would last for 11 days. This date was selected because the season of spring is synonymous with the new beginnings. The Romans continued to observe this date until 153 BC, when January the 1st was declared New Year's Day. The Chinese New Year begins on the first day of the first month on the Chinese lunar calendar, but people start preparing for the celebrations several days earlier. Families clean their houses, hoping to get rid of bad fortune and welcome some good. On New Year's Eve, there is a usually a large amount with the whole family, who then play cards or other games. Every light is supposed to be kept on the whole night, and at midnight, the sky is lit up by fireworks and firecrackers. And the next morning, children are given lucky money wrapped in red paper, and families greet each other saying, Kung Hai Fat Choi, which means a happy and prosperous new year. The new year celebration continues for 15 to 20 days, ending with the Lantern Festival on the first full moon of the new year. Each year is dedicated to one of the 12 animals, and it is believed that people inherit the characteristics of the animal in whose year they were born. In Scotland, New Year's Eve is called Hogmanay. While Christmas is a time to spend with the family, Hogmanay is a time to be with friends. Before celebrations can start, it is important to clean the house and have a bath so that the new year will start well. Hogmanay parties often include dancing, music and singing. At midnight, everyone always sings a song called Out Lang Syne, although most people don't know what it means. The words Out Lang Syne literally translate from Old Scottish dialect, meaning Old Long Ago and the song is about love and a friendship in times past. After midnight, the custom of first footing starts. A first footer is the first person to enter someone's house in the new year. Tradition says that the person should have dark hair and bring a gift. The gift is often a piece of a coal and a bottle of a whiskey. It's fascinating that in Georgia we also have that tradition and we call it megvle the first footer's tradition. Really? I didn't know that. I've been here a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not necessary to bring uh, a whiskey or have a black um, hair, but we also have uh, someone who comes first after the New Year's uh, um, celebration, and that person usually brings luck to the family. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, very cool. <laughs> so now let's move on to our reading activity and ask if the sentences are true or false. Ahoy, Gadawitet, Zakit Holis Gazrebis Sour Chichose, Quentin Asha Motsamulia, Tina Dada Baby, Chen Irtaduna Gadawit, Swatot Motsamulis, Tina Dada Baby, Chesh Maritia, Tuara, Text the Dart Nobit. Let's start? Let's do it. So, Sopo, New Year's Day is celebrated at different times throughout the world because of the different traditions. Uh, so, this sentence is false because, as we read in the text, New Year's Day is celebrated at different times and in different ways throughout the world. This is because certain countries and religions around the world use different calendars. Totally. And also, in Scotland, New Year's Eve is celebrated with friends. This sentence uh, is true as I remember, mm -hmm. because as we read in the text, while Christmas is a time to spend with the family, Hogmanay is a time to be with friends. Yeah, great. So our next sentence reads, Christmas Eve is called Hogmanay in Scotland. Oh, I know that's false, because in Scotland, New Year's Eve is called Hogmanay. Very true. And the, uh, the next sentence reads, some calendars are based on the position of the sun. And that is definitely true, because some calendars are based on the movement of the moon, while others are based on the position of the sun. And also, Sopo, uh, the Chinese New Year doesn't start on the first day of the first month of the year. That sentence must be false, because as we read, it does start on the first day of the first month on the lunar calendar. People start preparing much earlier, though. And also, New Year's celebrations continue for a week in China. That sentence is false because the New Year celebration continues for 15 to 20 days, ending with the Lantern Festival. And our next sentence, a first footer is any number of people that enter your house after midnight. And I know it's false because it is the first person to come into your house after midnight on New Year's Day. 
And our last sentence is, New Year's was first formally observed in ancient Ireland. Oh, that's false. New Year's Day was formally observed 4,000 years ago in 2000 BC in ancient Babylon. Well done, Zach. Absolutely right. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> now let's move on to the grammar section where we will discuss I wish and if only. I wish that if only. We use verb wish and the expression if only to express a wish. If only is more emphatic than I wish. For example, I wish I had more time. If only I had more time. Nas wish the gamut kmas if only we can up surulis gamosahatawat. If only upro empaticuria vitre I wish. Wish or if only plus past simple or past continuous is used when we want to say that we would like something to be different in the present. Construcția wish an if only damatebuli tsarsuli martivi an tsarsuli gangrzobiti dro gamoiqeneba rodesats ksurs raime sheitsvalos an ganskhoebuli iqos akhvandel droshi. Wish or if only plus past perfect is used to express regret that something happened or did not happen in the past. For example, I wish I had got your message earlier, but I did not get it earlier. Construcțiyas wish and if only damatebuli tsarsuli sruli dro viqenebt rata gamovkhatot sinanuli rom raime mokhta an ar mokhta tsarsul droshi. Wish or if only plus would is used a for a polite imperative for example, I wish you would stop shouting, please stop shouting, and B, to express our wish for a change in a situation or someone's behavior because we are annoyed by it. For example, I wish the wind would stop blowing. Wish for a change in a situation. Construcția wish an if only damatebuli wood gamoiqeneba, rodesats gwinda gamovkhatot motkhovna an brzaneba zrdilobian tonshi. An gamovkhatot chveni survili sheitsvalos mdgomareoba an vin mesktseva, radgan es ktseva an mdgomareoba gamagezianebelia. After the subject pronouns I and we, we use could instead of would. For example, I wish we could go to the party. It is not so sahelebis. I, da wis shemtek, shekutlia kamovirenot, could, would is not what. We can use were instead of was after wish or if only. For example, I wish she were was more sensitive. Zmanis, wish and kamutkmis, if only shemtek, shekutlia kamovirenot, zmna, where, was is not what. And now let's move on to the grammar section and complete these sentences with the correct form of the verb in brackets. Ahlaki modit irtad gadawidat grammatikis sawarchi shoze. Tkvan sina shemotsemulia tsinadadebebi gamotoebuli adgilebit, chven irtad unda movipikrot zmnis sori forma. The first one Sopo, Bruce wishes he blank, so you have to use the verb have more money so he could buy a new sweater. So the answer for this one would be Bruce wishes he had more money so he could buy a new sweater. He had more money. And the next one, I wish I blank and the verb be taller so that I could be in the basketball team. And the answer would be, I wish I were taller so that I could be in the basketball team. And the next sentence, I am sorry, I don't know how to use the camera. If only I blank and we need to use the verb know it. So it should be, I am sorry, I don't know how to use the camera. If only I knew it. And the next sentence, I wish you blank, and we need to use the verb stop watching television while I'm talking to you. So the answer should be, I wish you would stop watching television while I am talking to you. And the next one, I wish you blank, the verb to do, that it annoys me. I wish you would not do that. It annoys me. And next, if only she blank to listen to me, she wouldn't have such problems. If only she had listened to me, she wouldn't have such problems. And the next sentence, I wish the holidays and the verb that we need to use is come so we could go off the seaside. Oh, so it should be, I wish the holidays would come so we could go off to the seaside. And the next one, I wish you blank. And the verb we need to use is live in a negative form, so far away. So it should be, I wish you didn't live so far away. Now let's move on to the summary. 
ახლა კი გადავიდეთ გაკვეთილის შეჯამებაზე. So first we had the vocabulary, then we went right along to the reading, and then we had the grammar for I wish and if only. დღევანდელ ჩვენ გაკვეთილი დაიწყო ლექსიკით, ამის შემდეგ ჩვენ გადავედით წაკითხულის გაასრებაზე. დღეს ასევე განვიხილეთ გრამატიკა, სადაც ვისაუბრეთ I wish და if only შესახებ. ახლა კი უნდა დაგემშვიდობოთ. გისურებთ ბედნიერ შობა ახალ წელს. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.